hello world, this is whatsup290, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can pretty easily really put a pat, put a, encrypt a virtual machine on on VMware Workstation, or also redirect a, ver, and I'm also going to show you how you can redirect a, v, a, a virtual machine through your VPN software if you use a VPN to connect to the internet. So I'm going to show you how to lock your virtual machine with a password first. What you're going to want to do is make turn the virtual machine off. And then what you're going to want to do is just... And then what you're going to want to do is just right click on the virtual machine and then click edit virtual machine settings. What you're going to want to do is click options. What you're going to want to do is close is click access control and it'll say this virtual machine is not encrypted you can protect this virtual machine and data con configuration with a password just click encrypt uh, what you want to do is just type the password one two three and then click encrypt and uh, which and what that will do is it will secure the virtual machine with a password so you so that every time you turn the virtual machine on, it will require the password to use the virtual machine. Then what? Should, then uh, if you then uh, I'll show you the virtual machine I have encrypted, and as you can see, it's asking me to put in the password before I can turn it on. And I'll show you how to edit or remove the password too. Just click edit the virtual machine settings again. And then click on options. Go to access control. And then if you want to change the password, just click here and, and set a new password. Or if you want to remove the password, so you don't have to use the password to turn the virtual machine on anymore, just click remove encryption. And then it'll ask you, it should ask you to put the password in, then it'll turn it off for you. Now what I'm going to show you to do is how to to um, make your virtual route your virtual machine through a pure through a VP through VPN software that is running on your host operating system. My host operating system is Windows 10, but this should work for you as well. Keep in mind though, it may not work with all VPN software because it requires that the VPN software have because uh, well actually yes it should, but um. But actually, yes, it should. So, what you're going to want to do is just go to Edit Virtual Network Editor, and you're going to want to make sure VMNet. And click, and what you're going to want to do is click VMNet Zero and change it to NAT. And go down here and change this to NAT Shared Host IP Address with VMs. Then click apply, then click OK. Then what you're going to want to do is click edit this virtual, oh, click edit virtual machine settings, and and come down here and make sure your net the network adapter is set to is set to custom specific or virtual network, and set it in. Put it right here so that it says VMNet zero NAT, and that's all you have to do. I'll show you. To, I'll test it just to show you that it works, and then click OK, and I'll turn the virtual machine on. By the way, this is my pure VPN. I'm, I'm using pure VPN, and uh, this should work with any VPN software as far as I know. Let's start up. And, uh, okay, so now it started up, and I'm connected to ETH0, and I'm going to open, what I'm going to do now, is I'm going to open the web browser in this virtual machine, and I'm going to go to ip tracker.org, and as you can see, it's using a VPN, my VPN's IP address. So, that's about it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. 
If you did, leave a like, comment, subscribe. This is What's Up 290, and I'm signing off. Have a nice day, and I'll see you next video.